Well, good afternoon and welcome to Golden Lion Basketball here from H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you here once again. The Golden Lions set to host Alcorn State moments away from tip-off. UAPB looking for their first 5-0 start ever since rejoining Southwestern Athletic Conference in 1997. But off to a record start here. At looking for 5-0, starting 4-0 for the first time, looking for 5-0. And, and the opening tip's going to be knocked out of bounds by Alcorn. UAPB will have it. And we are underway here. Golden Lions with a narrow, close win against Southern for their first home conference game here on Saturday night. Here's McKnight for three, too strong, no good. McKnight, the leading scorer at just over 18 points a contest. He was held at bay, but he had a huge go-ahead three to beat Southern late in that contest on Saturday night. He finished with 14. Alcorn with the basketball here. Shot clock down to 10. Mosby shot up, short off the glass. Last touched out of bounds by UAPB. 44 seconds into this one here, no score. Here on the inbound, long three, shot up, no good. Battle for the rebound, and it's going to be Harper. And throws it away, coming right at us. He's trying to get it to Jackson, but the pass was off the mark. 
And an unforced error. Drive left side and the jumper is blocked by Jackson. And gonna have a whistle and a foul call. See who they're gonna call that one on. Not quite sure actually. The Braves basketball here. Still no score, just over a minute going by. And a steal and lost out of bounds by McKnight. Had it for a moment, then lost it. 18.47 to go here. Early first half, no score. Mosby in the lane, tough left-handed runner, no good. And up high with the one-handed snatch out of the air was McKnight. Open three left side, Steen, yes sir. Three nothing, good guys. Getting it across the timeline, almost stolen by Steen. Now they'll set it up top of the key here with Patterson. Working it right side, Patterson gets it down low on the block, shot partially blocked from behind, that was Tyler Carter, who went up for the shot. Sophomore to Houston, Texas. He's going to check out of the ball game after that. Bringing the basketball up slowly was Posey. Now to McKnight. Jackson left side to McKnight. In the corner, Posey travels as he was trying to drive the, the baseline. Three nothing, Golden Lions, 17-51 to play. Early first half. Sterling, out of Patterson, left side of the floor here. In the corner, open three for the southpaw is good. A.J. Mosby. And we're tied at three. Posey driving left, picks up his dribble and travels. Back-to-back and -back travels there on Posey. Mosby now left side of Patterson, though working around the perimeter. Picks up his dribble. Now on the right block, able to get it to Reed. Now left side, shot up no good by Sterling, but kept alive, and the stick back is there for Reed. 5-3 Alcorn. Posey will set it up now to McKnight. Hit on the shot clock here. Harper back to McKnight. May need to create his own shot here. The drive, contact, no call. Three by Jackson is no good. And Posey's going to get a reach in, or they're going to call it on Steen. It is going to be on Trent, his first team foul number one. And first foul issued for either team. 5-3 Alcorn with a two-point lead here. 16-20 to play. Here's Mosby off the screen. Right side, strong drive and the easy layup by Dante Sterling. That's seven unanswered here for Alcorn. They lead 7-3. Jackson left side here to Posey, now to McKnight. Right side it goes to Jackson. Steen on the elbow. 
to Posey off the bounce, loses the handle and stolen away. Mosby stolen here. McKnight wants to go all the way with it and he's fouled. Martavius McKnight to shoot two after this media timeout coming up here. 15-33 to play. First half, Alcorn State leads UAPB by a score of seven to three. Tavius McKnight at the line as we resume play here. First shot is good. And he gets the roll in the second as well. Seven to five. All corn by two. Mosby, right side, they'll set it up. Howard back to Mosby, or Sterling rather. Off a of screen, Sterling. Seven to shoot. Inside to Brewer, whistle and a foul is gonna be called. That's on Steen, that's gonna be his second. Two quick ones on Trent. Brewer's shot is good. Makes it eight to five. All corn. Tolliver's checked in. As well as Banyard. And Posey and Steen have a seat. Here's Jackson to Tolliver now. Tolliver, it's been the three-point specialist for the Golden Lions. Solid shooter at five threes at Alabama State two games ago and four five threes uh, Saturday against Southern as well. Here's Banyard to Tolliver. He's a shooter. Missed this one. Had an open look at it. He will not hesitate. 9-5, Alcorn with a four-point lead. Nearly six minutes into the contest here. They take their time. Shot clock down to five here. Brewer's going to have to get up a shot. Works on Banyard. Turn around, no good. Here's Jackson. He'll push it ahead with McKnight. A screen from Harper. Now he'll find Harper off the glass and scores. Nice move. 
9-7, all corn up two, and a quick whistle on the drive and before the shot. It's going to be on Trey Harper, his first. Team foul number three on the Golden Lions. Here on the inbound, on the baseline. Nice hands, good read by McKnight. The other way with it to Jackson, spots up for three, no good. And almost lost the rebound. And stoppage in play here, shot clock issue. They got it fixed now, three seconds off the shot clock to 27. Alcorn with the basketball leading UAPB by two, nine to seven. 13.26 to go here in the first half. A bit of a slow start to this one. Mosby looks for a screen. McKnight's able to slip it, tend to shoot. Long three, top of the key, no good, and long rebound's going to come away to Crosby. How about a two-handed block there by Banyard in transition to Tolliver. Trying to get it to Jackson, but the pass was thrown behind him. A little miscommunication there. I think he thought Jackson was going to stay out and spot up for that right wing three, but he was still drifting to the basket. Lob didn't work, Banyard took it. Now McKnight's got it. Tolliver now, Banyard inside to Harper. Goes right up with it and scores. Quick move. He's got four, and we're tied at nine. Just under 12 and a half to go, first half. Brewer, baseline spin, three in the corner is good for Maurice Howard. His first points of the game, Alcorn back up 12-9. Tolliver left side, McKnight, ball fake back to Tolliver, good ball movement, leads to a wide open three for Charles Jackson. Tied at 12. Golden Lions in his own defense here. Turn around, passing up the shot and getting it back is Reed. Now on the baseline, a whistle and a foul called. Looked to be a pretty clean block, and it is. He called a tie up. Media timeout. We'll sort it out during the break. We're all tied at 12. UAPB Alcorn with 11.28 to go. First half, right back in a moment.
7.25 left first half. Alcorn with the basketball. We're tied at 12. Shot clock went off here, and Alcorn didn't realize it. As there was, they called a tie up. Alternating possession stayed with Alcorn. The shot clock did not reset. So UAPB will get it back. Here's Harper. Pass knocked out of bounds, looking for McKnight in the corner. Jackson left side to McKnight. Shot clock at eight as he peeks up at it. Right side, Tolliver spots up for three, no good. Up high is Harper for the board, and he's fouled. Harper with a, oh, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, it's a, not sure if it's a time issue, but both teams retreat to the sideline, their own sidelines. Not sure if it's a, Clock issue or a timeout. The shot clock is at 20 now. Let's. Well, we got a shot clock at 17 on one end and 20 on the other. That's unusual. Usually they're sync in sync, but. Reset it on one end here. And now they got it in sync again. 10.45 to go on the game clock. 20 on the shot clock on both clocks now. They got it right. Tolliver sets inbounded here. Now he's got it out high. Jackson will come out. McKnight. They're working around the perimeter here to Jackson. Tend to shoot. Trying to drive, nowhere to go. Baseline McKnight, he'll pull the jumper and hits from 15. McKnight's got four in the game. Golden Lions reclaiming the lead, 14 to 12. Brewer back out to Sterling on the right wing. Now inside, Carter trying to kick it out, stolen away. Here's McKnight to Tolliver, pulls the three and hits. Joe Randall Tolliver hits the triple, and the Golden Lions lead by five, their largest lead so far. 17 12. Three ball in the corner pocket is good there for Howard, his second triple. He's got six in the lead back to two for UAPB. Here's McKnight, top of the key. Tolliver thought about the long three. Eight to shoot here. McKnight looks for a screen. Still with the bounce in the corner. Harper has to throw one up, and he hits. With the shot clock winding down. Harper has seven to lead all scores. Lead back to five for UAPB, 20 to 15. Patterson threw it away. McKnight's second still, and then he's fouled. 
But McKnight reads those passing lanes very well. And the Golden Lions will inbound it up five, checking into the ball game for the first time as Jackson takes a seat. Number 25, Christian Robertson out of Monticello, Arkansas. Played at Jones Community College, 6'4", 220 junior. Here's McKnight, the shake. And, whoa, a lot of contact, no call. They're gonna just say he lost it out of bounds. <laughs> George Ivory just looking perplexed, if you will. I don't blame him. That was a pretty clear foul, in my opinion, no call. Hmm. The little floater by Mosby, a short rebound Banyer. They'll push it ahead, Tolliver to Harper. Right side three, an air ball this time by McKnight. But now to Tolliver, he hits the three. Joe Randall knocks it down, his second three-point basket. The old Lions' largest lead here is at 8, 23 to 15. Patterson may have traveled, no call. Mosby for three left side. Missed it, Harper the rebound. Ahead, tough pass, Robertson. Can't corral it before he goes out of bounds. That will stop the clock with immediate timeout here with 7.29 to play first half. UAPB 23, Alcorn State 15, back in a moment. Seven twenty-nine remaining first half. Golden Lions lead by eight. Almost a turnover as Alcorn was letting the basketball roll there. That was Howard, and it almost lost it out of bounds. 23-15. Good guys with an eight-point lead here. Patterson, a little crossover, gets trapped on the baseline, trying to get it to Reed that time. Lost out of bounds, but last touched by UAPB. So Patterson will inbound it. Quickly to Howard here, misses the three. Robertson the rebound. Up eight with the basketball, McKnight's got it. Off a screen, now to Tolliver. He'll take the three again, this time no good. Robertson up high for a strong contested rebound. He's been active, some good minutes here for Robertson. McKnight left side to Tolliver. Now to Harper, backs this man down, goes right up with it, leaves it a little short. He said a couple like that, but missed that one. Says Harper's the leading scorer with seven so far. The lead's at eight here for UAPB, Patterson. Patterson now left side, they'll work it back around the perimeter to Brewer, trying to get it to him here on the right block. Turns, goes up with the right hand and gets the roll. Gold Lions up six for the basketball. Strong drive, McKnight is fouled and this time they'll call it. Thought they missed the last one. 
This time McKnight will go to the line for two shots. Got three substitutions coming in here for the Gold Lions. The senior David Tillman's one of them. Charles Jackson will be one, and Kwamari Hardy will be the third. It's like he's going to come in for McKnight, the shooter. And Tolliver and Harper will take a seat along with McKnight here at a moment. The first shot is good for McKnight. He'll have another. And hits. So McKnight will take a seat. He has six first half points. Lead back to eight for the Golden Lions with 5.50 to play first half. 25-17. Top of the key, Mosby now left side. Trying to get it down low on the block. Turn around, Brewer, no good. Tillman the rebound. Hardy quickly pushes it ahead to Jackson. Hardy off the bounce, looking over at George Ivory. Now he'll make his move to Banyard. Tend to shoot, pass deflected. Banyard does get it back. Good hands and a steal here by Mosby. He wants to push it strong. He will and score with the left hand. 25-19, six point lead for UAPB as Alcorn able to score off their defense that time. Hardy calling for a screen, gets one from Tillman. Right side, they'll work it to Banyard. Five to shoot here. Jackson trying to back his man down. And a foul is going to be called with one on the shot clock. Good recognition that time by Charles Jackson. Foul was on Howard. That is his first team foul, number five. Only had a total of eight fouls called here in the first half. First shot for Jackson is good. One more coming up. 26-19, Golden Lions. Up seven, looking for eight, and got it. 4.40 to go before halftime, 27 to 19. Alcorn down eight with the basketball. Left side to Howard. And a whistle and a foul is going to be called on Robertson. Or they got Tillman, rather. His first team foul number four. Two quick ones on Tillman as he fouls Yalen Reed. Reed, a 6'7", 200-pound sophomore from Nashville, Tennessee. Makes the first shot. And make it two. Posey picked up by Howard. Top of the key now to Harper. They'll work it around the perimeter. Get it to Harper on the block here. Back to Robertson, long two. Can't get it to go. Up high for the rebound. Alcorn pushes it back the other way. Trailing UAPB by six, 27-21. Troy Main and a foul is going to be called as he comes up a little nicked up there on his ankle. It's going to lead us to immediate timeout. We'll step aside here from UAPB TV's Golden Lion basketball broadcast. 27-21, UAPB leads it over Alcorn. 
With 3.47 to play, first half. Right back in a moment. Three forty-seven remaining. Late first half here. The Golden Lions lead it by six. Largest lead's been eight. And first shot is good for Troy Main Crosby. Freshman out of Laurel, Mississippi. Makes both, cuts it to a four point game. Here's Posey, picked up by Howard. Now McKnight to Harper. Down low, that's going to be a foul on Crosby as he trying to hold Charles Jackson. Jackson, a big guard that will post you up. Inbounded to Posey here. Three and a half to go, first half. McKnight. Left side of Robertson. Seven to shoot, McKnight. Backs his man down. Turn around from 15, no good. Taking it out of the air, stick back. No good, and the goal line's missed an opportunity. Carter corrals it. Now Alcorn will set it up, trailing by four. 27-23. Howard's hit a couple of threes, passes this one up, works his way inside, no good. Offensive rebound, and the stick back is rejected by Harper. Return to sender. No, sir. 27-23. Old line's looking for more. Probably could have been a foul there. Here's Jackson. Cross-court pass to Posey. Trying to get it to Harper, knocked away. Good defense by Reed, trying to go inside. Carter steals it away. Long three, Howard knocks in his third three-point shot. He leads the way for Alcorn with nine and has cut the lead to one. McKnight, the crossover. Gets in the lane and is fouled. Hard to guard. They were to create off the bounce that time and created his way to the foul line here. 150 to go before halftime. In and out, no good. 
Posey and Robertson will take a seat. And he missed both. Missed both free throws. Here's Howard. They close out on him this time. Carter now back out high to Howard. Carter goes up for the shot. Missed it from 12. Tipped out to McKnight here. One fifteen to go before halftime. Golden Lions with the basketball up by one. And McKnight again with the shake and a foul called. I mentioned he is hard to guard. Gonna have to knock these free throws down. Because he'll get there a lot. First shot is good. He's got seven first half points now. Ties him with team high honors with Harper. And McKnight makes both. He'll check out again as Hardy will come into the ball game. Gold Lions up by three, 29-26 in a low scoring first half. Just over a minute to play before halftime. Brewer, strong drive, blocked and taken out of the air now by Steen. He's been sitting a long time with those two fouls. He's able to stay away from the third foul there, thankfully. Now to Jackson, just over 30 seconds left. Steen will take the long two, it's short, no good. Alcorn with the basketball, they can hold for the final shot. And they will, they trail UAPB by three. They're gonna call a timeout and draw something up. Just 16 seconds remaining. Kind of a quiet crowd and reserved atmosphere right now as Golden Lions have led pretty much throughout the first half, but need to get some more energy in the building. the play they drew up during the timeout here. As they hold for the final shot, trailing UAPB by three, 29-26. Patterson to Brewer, lost it, stolen away here. Ahead to Banyard at the buzzer, and he's fouled with .8 seconds left. So that play just fell apart for Hawcorn and resulted in a transition opportunity. And Banyard. Banyard makes the first. One more coming up with just 0.8 seconds remaining. And misses the second. And that is the end of the first half. The Golden Lions lead it by four at halftime. Overall, Court State 30 to 26. Second half coming up in just a bit.
Just about set to start the second half here, 30 to 26. UAPB up by four after one half of play. Starting the second half for the Golden Lions, Tolliver, McKnight, Jackson, Steen, and Harper. McKnight the leading scorer at the break with eight. Harper has seven and six for Tolliver to lead the way for the Golden Lions. Low scoring first half, but the Golden Lions leading by four here. Here's Tolliver, Jackson spots up for three. Charles in and out. Good look at it, wouldn't go down. And a steal here by Jackson to Tolliver and Patterson. Able to get a hand on it as the official knocked to the floor. Patterson behind the back and then blocked out of the air there by Steen, went up high for it. Now McKnight's got it. Got a whistle and gonna have a foul. It's gonna be on Tyler Carter, his First, first foul of the second half. For Alcorn, Golden, Golden Lions will inbound it. Up by four, nearly a minute going by in the second half here, 30 to 26. And just would not go down. And a travel back on the other end here for Alcorn. Get a little careless. Eighteen forty-six to play. Early second half. Same score as halftime. Thirty to twenty-six. Harper now. Tolliver to McKnight. Steen. Jumper off the mark, right to Jackson, and hits. Charles Jackson, his second three, he's got eight in the game. 33-26, Golden Lions by seven. Osby to Patterson for three, no good. Steen up high for the board. McKnight in the corner and hits the three. Martavius McKnight. Now in double figures to lead all scores with 11. And a lead up to 10 for the first time. 36-26 and a timeout call by Alcorn. Seventeen fifty-two to play. And the Golden Lions lead it 36-26. Trying to get some stats over here. Alcorn will have the basketball set to inbound it here.
trailing UAPB by 10, 36-26. Fifteen on the shot clock. Carter right side now. Baseline, nowhere to go with it. Here's Howard, right at the foul line, almost lost it. Now to Mosby, long three, no good. Knocked to the floor was Jackson, and going to be a foul on Alcorn here. It's going to be on Brewer. Devon Brewer. His first team foul number two on all court. Kamari Hardy is into the ball game for the first time here in the second half. Jackson now McKnight. Harper, he'll take the three in the corner. Missed it this time. Hardy the rebound, a Steen, 15-footer, too strong, no good. And Howard chases down the rebound. He'll push it ahead here with his Braves down 10, deflected in the lane and off of Carter's face and out of bounds. McKnight off the bounce. Trying to get it to Steen around the foul line. And gonna be a foul on Carter with the uh, forearm to the back of Steen. Or was it Harper? Or it's actually gonna be on Brewer, his second. They got the hold on Brewer against Harper. Jackson will inbound it here. The Gold Lions up by 10, their largest lead of the game. Steen trying to get it to Harper, now does so. Carter almost knocked it away. Nice spin move, and a foul's going to be on Carter as Harper will go to the line for two shots here. Very quick baseline move. And Harper knocks down the first. Lead up to 11 here, 37-26 with 16-21 to play. And Harper makes both. Trayvon now with nine points in the game. And the lead is up to 12 here. Reed are working around the perimeter, left side to Howard. 10 to shoot. Down low, nice pass. Reed too strong off the glass, but kicked out. And a foul's gonna be called as Crosby was attacking the basket there. He's gonna shoot two. But we're gonna have a first media timeout of the second half here. We'll step aside. Gold Lions up by 12, now 38-26. You're watching Golden Lion basketball on UAPB TV right back in a moment.
two shots coming up here for all corners. We resume play. Troy Main Crosby, the 6'4 freshman, knocks in the first. And makes both free throws. Touch the lead to 10 here. 38-28 with 15-45 left in the ball game. Early second half. Hardy holds it out high. Steen now to Hardy, drives baseline. Ball reversal to McKnight and a chance for a four-point play. Hits the three right in the eye hole and a chance for a four-point play. He's got 14 in the game matching what he had against Southern Saturday. McKnight having a pretty pretty good game here tonight. And it will not go down. Had a chance for a four, but misses the free throw. But the lead up to 13, 41 28 here. Just over 15 minutes remaining. Ten on the shot clock. Howard almost traveled with it. Picks up his dribble. Shot clock, too many passes. Shot clock violation. <laughs> So the Golden Lions up 13. Look like they're primed for a run here to possibly put this game away. Here's Jackson out of Steen on the baseline. Ball reversal. McKnight, same spot for three this time, left it short. Had a good look at it. Left it short. In the lane, Reed gets it stripped. Good hands there. A steal. And Jackson, he'll get it back and hits. Charles Jackson, his third three ball of the game, and Charles now with the 11. In the lead, quickly balloons up to 16 here, 44 28. All started off the good hands by Jackson, then hits the three, and back on the other end, Alcorn with the basket to answer. That's Dante Sterling, but right back is Charles Jackson. Hits another three, and they're starting to rain in the threes now. 47 to 30, and look out if they get hot. This game could get out of hand rather quickly. As Jackson now with 14. Here's a three on the other end, no good. Rebound McKnight. Heat check time, not this time. Too strong, actually caught that one off the glass a bit. The lead's at 17, strong drive, and good foul there by Hardy before Reed could throw it down. Well, the Gold Lions have shot the three well here tonight. and Banyard are in the game as Hardy and Harper will take a seat. One more coming up here after Reed made the first. And he makes both 47 to 32 our score now. Just over 13 minutes to play. Here's Jackson, he's had the hot hand here in the second half. 
Left side of McKnight. Trying to get it to Steen on the block. Bumped a bit, able to corral it. Top of the key, Jackson. The shake, step back three. Yes, sir. Why not? He's hit three of his last four from downtown, and the lead is up to 18, 50 to 32. Twelve twenty to play. Long three left side. No good by Mosby. And through the legs of McKnight on the floor. Tie up. Alternating possessions. Going to keep it with Alcorn. 17 in the game now for Charles Jackson. McKnight second leading score with 14. They've combined for 31 of the Golden Lions. 50. As UAPB leads it 50 to 32. A little floater, baseline, too strong, air ball. Jackson, not a McKnight. Steen calling for it on the left elbow. Strong drive, can't get it to go down. Here's Howard, trying to go all the way, loses it out of bounds, off the hip, gonna be UAPD ball. Timeout called, we'll step aside here, 11.50 to play in the game. The Golden Lions scorching the nets from downtown have opened up an 18 point lead, 50 to 32 overall, Corn back with more in just a moment. Trying to lob it up to Bander and off the glass. Going to give it back to Alcorn here. Going to be a reach in foul as Reed attacks the basket. That one's going to go on Posey, his first team foul number three. UAPB up 18, 50 to 32 with 11.25 to play. Here's Howard, the little floater in the lane, no good. Brewer, the offensive rebound, and knocked out by Banyard. Three ball, corner pocket, no good here by Howard. He's hit three from downtown in the game, but misses there. McKnight. Trying to get it to Jackson. He's been red hot here in the second half. Steen, as Banyard wants it. Step back three is short by McKnight. Reed uh, gets it blocked from Banyard, but a foul call. Um. 
Yalen Reed, 6'7", sophomore forward, will shoot two here. He's got six in the game. And he gets the roll, make it seven. And misses. The second. 17 point lead here. Pull up jumper from the foul line. No good by Jackson. Got a foul here, I believe, before the shot. That was Crosby on the drive there. He'll inbound it as Patterson checks in for Alcorn. Howard will take a seat. Patterson needs some help, trapped in a steal. Jackson again. All right, through the hands of Steen. And a steal by Howard, or Mosby rather. And another block by Trent Steen. Loose basketball, McKnight almost had it. And a foul is going to be called here again while Crosby was driving. He may shoot free throws on this one. Nope, going to call it on the drive again. Stops the clock at 10.01 remaining in the game. UAPB up by 17. Harper back in the game for Banyard. Steen checks out as Tolliver is in as well. Trying to get it to Brewer. They are able to do so, and it could be. They are going to count the basket and a foul as well, so a chance for a three-point play here with the basket interference. Devon Brewer trying to complete the three-point play. Miss the free throw. Harper up high for the board. Tolliver, he'll pull the three. This time will not go. Mosby almost lost it. The lead at 15. In the corner, pass off the mark and a turnover. 9.38 remaining. The Golden Lions will get it back up by 15, 50 to 35. McKnight set to inbound it. So on the floor for Coach Ivory's ball club, you have McKnight, Jackson, Tolliver, Harper, and Hardy. Here's McKnight, works it right side of the floor. Trying to get it to Harper. Brewer doing a good job defensively, staying right with him. Again, Brewer making it hard on Harper. Knocks it out of bounds with 11 on the shot clock. And the pass knocked out of bounds by Mosby. So with 11 on the shot clock, the Golden Lions will inbound it. Leading all corn by 15. That's going to be a reach in this time on Brewer. Third personal on Brewer. Team foul number six on Alcorn. Tolliver will inbound it right in front of his own sideline to Harper. The drive and then the pick stolen away here. 
coming back on the other end, and the layup is good. Off the steal by Troy Main Crosby. 50 to 37, a lead at 13. The largest lead has been 18. Five unanswered here by Alcorn. Harper down on the baseline and shot would not go for Hardy, but the tip is there for Harper. Offensive foul, a charge on Patterson here. So the Golden Lions will get it back with 8.29 remaining in the game, leading by 15. Top of the key here. Works on Patterson. Pull up jumper is good. Martavius McKnight's got 16. The lead quickly back to 17 here. 54 37. Eight minutes to go. Howard, three in and out. Jackson the rebound. Tolliver for three this time, no good. Reed the rebound, out of Patterson. Top of the key, Reed will pull the three, no good. Long rebound out of bounds, gonna go to UAPB. Leads us to immediate timeout, just 7.31 remaining in this one. Here on Martin Luther King Day, the Gold Lions enjoying a 17 point lead, 54-37. Lions will inbound it here. Seven and a half to go, leading by 17, 54, 37. Hardy now McKnight working on Mosby. Gives it up to Jackson. Trying to get it back to McKnight. Wanted to post up Mosby. Mosby's going to get called for the little reach over foul, trying to deny the pass. And to the foul line, McKnight goes. He has the ability to get there a lot. Second foul on Mosby. First shot for McKnight is good. Golden Lions looking to improve to 5-0 in conference play for the first time ever. We'll take what we can get here, Charles. As <laughs> There's a Cliche called read between the lines. Well, it's kind of hard to do when there's no ink. A very limited ink on the stat sheet here, so I'll try to get you caught up in a moment. Here's a steal. Little crossover, and McKnight gets it to go. McKnight just over his average. 20 points a game. He's right at his average. He's got 20 in this game. 
Averaging about 19 a game and 20 in this one. So the lead is now up to 21 for the Golden Lions. McKnight, 8 of 12 from the foul line. Strong drive by Howard, but partially blocked. And gonna call a tie up here. With 6.32 left, 58-37. And the Gold Lions, if I read this correctly, the inks really faded. I believe that's 11 of 27 from three-point range. They've taken a bunch of them, but they hit quite a few as well. A step back jumper there for McKnight, and his big night continues. The marvelous Martavis McKnight. He's got 22 in the game. Three-point shot for Howard, no good. Here's Hardy, wants to push it to Tolliver. Oh, gonna call an offensive foul, I guess an illegal screen here. I'm not quite sure what that was. 5.56 to go, and it's all UAPB. They have opened up a 23-point lead. 60 to 37. Here's a long ball and knocking it in. Mosby. He's got eight in the game. Gold Lions up 20. McKnight got the hot hand. Hardy, a little pull up 15 footer, no good. And the little runner in the lane goes for Troy Main Crosby. Quick five points here for Alcorn. The Golden Lions still up 18. Five minutes to play. Jackson out of McKnight. Little crossover, hesitation, pull up, jumper is good. He's filling it. And a little look over here at the student section as he swags it out. 24 in the game for McKnight. And a charge. Brewer puts it on the plastic and charges it. Sixty-two forty-two. Four to half to play. Golden Lions take control here in the second half. They led by four at halftime, but have outscored Alcorn by 16 in the second half. And another foul. This one going to be on Mosby and McKnight to go back to the line where he's 8 of 12 so far. And he's got 24 in the game and stays on this pace. Could be looking at a 30-point game. He's had some big games already this year. Been conference player of the week twice. And looks to be headed to the first team all conference and in my opinion, possibly player of the year for the conference. Definitely will get consideration if he stays on this pace. Misses the second free throw, 63-42, 21-point lead. Patterson, he'll pull the three and hits. 63-45, just over four to play. McKnight goes right around him. The lob and the dunk. Trent Steen smashes it down off the lob from McKnight. Everything going right for the Golden Lions here this evening. The little floater goes for Mosby. 65-47. Oh, 
They're going to call an illegal screen uh, on Jackson, it appears. Uh, stop the clock and lead us to immediate timeout. We'll step aside here. 3.38 to play. All Golden Lions here in the second half. They lead it over Alcorn here on Martin Luther King Day, 65-47. Corn inbounds it. Tim Stubbs here, H.O. Clemens Arena. And the shot, tip out. Another lob, this time defended well by Mosby as McKnight was trying to lob it to Harper for some showtime. Quick pull on the other end, no good. Tolliver the rebound. Gold Lions in control, having some fun here down the stretch. Stolen here by Howard. Patterson gets it to go. Just over three to play. The Golden Lions up 16. Their largest lead's been 23. Sprinkle with Patterson all over him. Picks up his dribble. Here's McKnight. He's got 25 in the game looking for more. Working on Howard here. 10 on the shot clock. Lost control of the pass and actually hit Patterson in the back of the head. Out of bounds. That kind of night for UAPV. They're going to get, I guess, an illegal screen on Sprinkle, but Patterson was just kind of fighting through it, and it moved Sprinkle, but I didn't, I don't know if I saw an illegal screen there. Nevertheless, Saul Korn with the basketball down 16. Quick step there by Patterson leads to an easy dunk by Reed. Lead at 14 here. It is getting late, however, for Alcorn. The Golden Lions had a big lead of 23, and it's down to 14. As Alcorn has cut away at that big lead. Here, Sprinkle the drive, and he's fouled on the putback. As he was trying to put back his own miss. Jabron Sprinkle, red shirt sophomore out of Whitehall, will shoot two here. That's the fourth foul on Mosby. First shot for Sprinkle is good. Steen back in for Tolliver. Just one of two, lead at 15. Patterson fouled in the lane. Going to get Harper on the foul. Harper's had a good ball game, however. 11 points, nine rebounds. First shot, no good. One more coming up. 2.03 to play. As Patterson hits the second. 
Goal lines up 14, 66-52. Harper, nice extra pass. And Steen with the big two-handed jam. 68-52. Trying to get it to Reed. Good hands by Sprinkle. Almost comes up with a steal. Unselfish basketball. Checking in for the first time for the Golden Lions. It's going to be Jordan McNair, sophomore of Jacksonville, Arkansas. A little floater, short. Reed took it out of the air, and then he's fouled. With 1.41 to go. The Golden Lions leading by 16, 68 to 52. First free throw, no good. Well, next up for the Golden Lions, they'll have Preview A&M this Saturday. And then next Monday, they'll be at Texas Southern. Could be the top two teams in the standings in the conference. Squaring off. And Houston, the lob and the dunk again. Beautiful lob by McNair. And Trent Steen is just having a crush fest. His third straight dunk. As he smashes home another. 70 to 53, lead back to 17 with 118 to go. A little lob fest going on here in a dunk party. Second free throw is good by Patterson. Golden Lions about to improve to 5-0 in conference play for the first time ever. To rejoining the SWAC in 97. Pretty impressive. And they'll have the two-game Texas two-step, if you will, this weekend. And always a tough road trip. The Golden Lions as they look to remain unbeaten in conference play. McNair was fouled. He's going to shoot a pair here. I like his game. I've seen him play quite a bit in practice. First time in live game action here. He misses the free throw, but he's quick and he's got some game. Makes the second. Pulls the three from the right wing. No good by Patterson. Knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with Alcorn with 110 to play. Got a timeout call. Call the 32nd timeout by Alcorn. UAPB leading 71-55. Up 16. And inbound, stolen, Sprinkle in the corner for three. It was Jackson, missed it. Steen gets it back, trying to get it to Harper, and they couldn't handle the pass. Looked like he was already headed up to dunk it home and couldn't handle it. 50 seconds and counting. Alcorn with the basketball back, but trailing by 16 and inadvertent. Shot to the face. Foul's going to be on Jackson. It's going to be the third on, or fourth on Charles.
quite sure what the delay is here. Or is that five on Jackson? Not sure. First shot is good. To Quaylen Smith. Tyler Carter back in the ball game. As Dante Sterling will take a seat. This went all but over, just 43 seconds left. After the free throws, UAPB leads by 14, 71, 57. As they milk the clock down here, 12 on the shot clock. Sprinkle still on the bounce, holding it out high. A little crossover. Nice dish. And again, Harper was wanting to go up with it. I think he was expecting the lob. Instead, he got the low pass. It's a good feed, but if he lobs it there, it would have been a dunk. Contested, block, jump ball, tie up. Going to stay with Alcorn. 6.8 left. And the air ball, Carter at the buzzer goes. And that is the ball game, 71-59 the final. The Golden Lions led by as many as 23 in the second half. And they win it by 12, 71-59. What an impressive win by the Golden Lions. They improved to 5-0 in conference play. Off to a spectacular start. They'll look to keep that alive and remain unbeaten in conference play at Prairie View and at Texas Southern this weekend. For our crew here is Randy Kelly. I'm Tim Stubbs saying so long from H.O. Clemens Arena here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. The Golden Lions win it over Alcorn State by a score of 71-59. Good night and go Lions.